Uh, so I'm excited to discuss about uh, two restaurants about streets and public space. Uh, uh, I'm a deputy convener of Panning Concern Group, uh, Panning where my three generations of family live there. Uh, we object the Panning escalator. Uh, this proposal was also mentioned by Anthony Jang and also Melissa. Uh, I will mention it more later, uh, why it's important as uh, street as public space. So, why important uh, street as public space? This also this one also mentioned by uh, in Paul's slide this morning uh, for social gathering, for tangible environment, social and uh, economic benefit, reduce uh, carbon emission, etc. But when we discuss uh, an ideal model of walkability in Hong Kong, should we just associate with Western model, uh, trees, cycle path, footpath on street level? This picture shows an ideal model of street uh, photo taken in Upper Manhattan uh, last week. However, how large at least this footpath shall be? Uh, what is the definition of street in Hong Kong? I would define the street in Hong Kong is multi-layered on ground, above ground, and underground. This slide shows how uh, the movie expectation in Hong Kong. Multi-layered streets have become Hong Kong's important cityscape. It was widely depicted uh, in Japanese animation and Hong Kong movies. Uh, this uh, Japanese animation goes in the shell and also the Han Chao Fan and also Chongqing Sam Nam. In the Japanese animation, The Japanese animation turned the multi-layered cityscape of Hong Kong as a model of a future city. In different from European cities, Hong Kong is more compact, multi-level layered, and three-dimensional. And Chongqing Express and also the uh, All About Love also take the shot in the central and mid-level escalator. This walking system created an interesting interaction between people. People are watching each other from the foot pitch to, to the street level or from the building to a footpath, a uh, foot beach, sorry. Chatting and hang, hanging out in the foot beach. So this might show how do people actually use the street as uh, public space in Hong Kong. Uh, we have a public talk in Tang Lane, uh, utilize the uh, steps, and also we can see the footpath in Central, uh, uh, occupied by the domestic helper, in the element malls, uh, in the hotel. So we can see that in all multi-layer, people expect the street can provide the function of uh, circulation access, seats, shading, group gathering, amphitheater, etc. Uh, this map uh, is from a book, Cities Without Ground, by Jonathan Solomon. I was one of the research assistants when I was in the uh, university. This book mapped how compact, how, how three-dimensional, how multi-layered our city is. The book also mapped the other sites, uh, for example, in Central and other uh, multi-layered sites. Some of the linkage works, some doesn't work. This mapping exercise is not only for mapping the circulation, but also about public space. The area we map not only on wood path and public street, but also the circulation in shopping mall. Therefore, the public space definition here is how we how people use the space rather than is publicly owned or privately owned. So we divided uh, the, uh, five principles of walkability. Uh, I would like to respond to what uh, Julian Kong said uh, today. Create a new system for Hong Kong. Uh, we need to know uh, which where is the historic district, uh, where is new town, then we so that we have different kind of uh, walking experience. So, for example, in some historic uh, areas, such as Tang Lane, Tai Ping San District in Strang Wan, the first Chinese settlement uh, of the British colonial age, it was developed on slope, level lane, and full of steps. If we use very easy uh, access to look at the area, it doesn't reach the standard. But if we can have some very easy access in some wider area, in a reasonable distance, to link with the historic district, and also improve the um, even step distance to make it more walkable, just like what uh, Melissa showed in 
some time. Uh, the second principle is we develop continuous working system. Uh, response to Paul uh, saw uh, the, this link in TSC uh, labor role because TSC was promoting a uh, two-dimensional working experience. If we suddenly change to subway, then uh, people hate it. So uh, uh, also transform the turnover leftover space, such as the uh, under under flyover space, just like what we had at lunchtime. And before uh, number four is about uh, multi-layer street and public space, street, profile street, and real deck, etc. Uh, the five number five is about public and private sector partnership. Uh, so uh, on ground, what we can do in some new town development. Uh, we have wider footpath, then we can put more street furniture. We can actually lie on the uh, furniture. In some junk space, we actually we can uh, utilize some light design to... Uh, uh, this picture shows the uh, central median uh, in Barcelona. I think it's good to uh, uh, be, uh, separate between the uh, vehicle and also the path. And we have historic protection zone and some uh, pocket path to link with the uh, existing walking uh, wood. On Guang, above Guang, we, can, we also can develop a uh, public space, such as the high line. Also, we can have uh, green trees above Guang, also more seats. In underground, we actually can utilize the, uh, transform the shopping mall concept into uh, uh, subway. Uh, at least we provide seats in subway. 